Thank you again for tuning in to our 2018 TPC Rivers Bend member spring newsletter brought to you via video. I'm here with your fantastic golf course superintendent Ian Schlotter, the man and his team who take such great care of our golf course for your pleasure. We're going to talk about uh, several topics today, uh, including the continuation of our new bunker project. Ian, tell me where we are in this and uh, uh, what we expect to have happening over the next couple of weeks. Well, as, as, we, as we're out here sitting on number seven in this beautiful sunny day, um, we've been able to excavate about another 9,200 square feet um, prior to the Big Ten tournament. And after some, uh, some bad weather and some, some sand problems of getting it made and shipped, we finally are here having it put in on number seven. Um, hopefully we will have another 9,000 square feet done by the end of this year and be approximately 75% done with the entire project. And that would include probably another year and a half of of work yet to do but uh, we're ending we're nearing the end and, and, it, and it, it's been very evident the new how, how, how the new bunkers have aided in the draining right of the, of the bunkers and the and the uh, washing out of the bunkers it's been fantastic number 18 has always been a problem in the past and after last year's project it's probably one of the five best bunkers on this entire golf course so we're very excited on the on the new uh, the new uh, liner system and looking forward to getting the rest of them done. So the, always in the winter we try to get some projects done that we might not be able to get done in the season. One thing you did this winter was you worked on the collar dams around the greens. That's correct. Please explain to our members what exactly that is. So we, we did work on some collar dams as greens age and we get our torrential rains that we've seemed to have gotten a lot more frequently in the last few years. Um, they, they tend to wash sand and wash uh, material to the low spots on the green and it prevents surface drainage from happening. Now it's not impacting the drainage below the surface but anytime we can get water to move across the surface and off the green uh, just keeps it drier and firmer and um, more playable quicker and so we were able to excavate some of those areas, lower those areas down and make sure that we have drainage from the middle of the greens to the edge of the green. Okay, very good. A couple other things that are happening this year. I'll let Ian talk about them. One is uh, new matting for the bridges for our walkers. Yes, we've, uh, it's matting that I've used in the past. Um, it's more high traffic than what we've had and we will be getting it down on all the walk bridges and cart bridges uh, in the coming weeks. Um, it's going to be the same two foot strip that we had before and uh, hopefully it'll hold up and withstand the amount of car traffic that we have across the bridges and provide a, a better surface, non-slip surface. Okay, and then the last thing, um, if you've played enough golf over the last few years you've noticed the improvements in the condition of the greens on number eight, uh, I'm sorry, number 15 and number three uh, thanks to the fans we've installed. Um, we're adding two more fans this year. Tell us where and uh, what we hope to have happen from that. Yes, we've had some good, great success with number three green and we will be adding uh, two more fans. One to the back left of number eight green. That's why I said eight. And one to the front middle-ish right of 15 green. Um, hopefully to get some more air movement in those areas. They, time, they tend to sit stagnant and just to hopefully produce a better uh, putting surface uh, through the meat of the season. Very good. If you have an opportunity to ever say hello to Ian and his team when they're out on the golf course, please do and thank them. They're, they're the hardest workers here at our club and they provide you with a fantastic product to play your golf on. So please say hello and never hesitate to send an email to Ian uh, asking questions or thanking uh, him for, for the effort that they put forth. Ian, thank you very much. Good luck this year. Appreciate Let's it, hope Jack. Mother Nature gets on board here soon. Looking and forward, uh, once again, thank you for joining in. Have a great day.